What's up folks, welcome back to Star Trek New Civilizations, the uh, the startup window, because, well, I'm an idiot, let's just say that, just fill the chat and say you, you are, you're an idiot or you're dense, I will approve all of those comments right now. <sighs> so, last time we got to a new game, we went to the uh, new the United Earth, New Republic, we selected that, and I was changing, I was just yapping around about stuff. Um, not the Gamma Cutter, not the Delta, where are you? Uh, I actually did that. I reset it to the default, and I did not change the difficulty of my game. So, that's not good. Is there anything higher than large? I don't think so. Milky Way small, lore rich. There you go, 13. We will leave everything but that. <sighs> Thank you, Enek, for telling everyone that I'm an idiot. Yeah. Uh, the difficulty was set to Ensign. And by this video going live on YouTube, there is going to be, I think a link in the description would be best to link to an unlisted playlist with unlisted videos. There will be 14 of them and, and you will see what I mean eventually because the, um, the Dallin Union was a, a one system miner and the, and the Romulans were quite peaceful. Uh, there was just not a whole bunch going on. The Klingons were getting their ass kicked. Uh, stuff like that. Uh, we were ganking up on the Orions. So that's fun. If you want to see a bit of combat, uh, just go and, and have some fun with that. But I I, um, I goofed. I, I really did. Now, I'll see that. Uh, I goofed out quite a bit. Uh, and, and I feel bad about it. So we're going to be starting... On Grand Admiral this time, we've all seen it. It is on Grand Admiral. We will be playing. It means that um, I will have to pay a lot more attention to to um, alloys, crew, uh, gears, and stuff like that because we were actually we were not doing that good. If that was on Ensign, I was doing a horrible, horrible. Uh, see, Master Fishing, welcome, man. Uh, another game. My computer had an aneurysm on large at about twenty four. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so it's good to know. Uh, did your computer survive, Seamaster? So how are you doing, mate? I've not seen you in a while. Hopefully you are doing good. Uh, here in chat are PDD, Wenak, and I spotted Evan Testa. So that's good. Uh, for those of you who are watching this later on, on YouTube, um, there's a link in the description to my Twitch page. Um... Consider sub uh, not subscribe. Consider following it. You can follow it for free. Um, it's not your computer. That is the problem. It's the game not being optimized. That is absolutely true. So, yes, chat will be... Let's see if I flank my camera. There you go. Chat is on that angle. Yes. <laughs> and we're starting this time on, on Grand Admiral. Um, the Earth was a messy place and then we met the Vulcans. Let's begin. Let's take a look around us. We are in in the right position. Vulcans are over here. They are our friends. We will be focusing on getting towards Alpha Centauri. And I will try to get my ass to this nebula. Um, because this nebula is part of uh, the void, void thing. Uh, there is a edict for that. Not right now, but there will be. And that is to scout this uh, this void. So yeah. Oh man. Oh, a lot of stuff. Let's take a look at Earth. Uh, not a bunch of uh, not a whole bunch of amenities. We got some housing. There's no jobs available. It is research and admin. Food as well as consumer goods is low. Now we want to make sure about something. Because currently, the human living standards is on decent. And I'm going to be putting you up to Utopian. Because of the... Um, they will get a plus 20% in happiness. That's always good. And they will just cre just use a, uh, a buttload more. Uh, luckily, right now... We can do this right now. 
If we do this right now, we will set this to a default utopian living standard with everyone. We will never have to use it. We will just have a a problem with our consumer goods after one month. That there's no problem. We can fix that. We can fix that right now. You can't fix that when you're like 150 years in the game and you're just barely managing with your consumer goods because that is how I run my economy. I run it into the ground. Uh, yeah. Uh, we will definitely go into this. There is four jobs. To the they won't grow as fast. So it's, it's it's not good on a say a resource planet, uh, but you can definitely try using that as say your admin offices. You can post them down over here, and we will uh, just remove these icons because currently we have a growth speed of none. Um, but due to this, there is a growth speed. Of point one. Of point one. So, yeah. <clears throat> ah, and that's not good. The defense fleet over here. Last time I I, I I said I was not going to be doing a lot with these uh, ships. But I was... Uh, I was proven. I was proven that I had to work this. So, if you want to give me feedback on the profiles... Uh, by all means, do so. Um, basically, I want ships that are extremely fast to be as close as possible. He has uh, some turrets, which, uh, you know, it has some penetration, which is fine. Uh, this one as well. We don't have any other specialities. The uh, Freedom class is on also all on Interceptor, the way I, I see it right now. And you don't want that. Uh, you might also want to gain um, just a bit more range. Like, these will go right into your face. Uh, and we could say, like, the Scout Club. I'm not going to be using the Freedom. The, I don't want to use the Scout. Uh, and also, the Science ships do have weapons. We will take a long time, eventually, with these. And 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 um, the people are... Oh, wow. Um, I'm getting uh, uh, stretch things. I might have to uh, eventually turn those off. But it's fun. It's wow. That really hurt my back. Um, I know your face looks normal. But when you can't straight your face. The lack of eyebrows is distracting. I, I do have eyebrows. Are you just trying to pull my leg? Oh, dude. Seriously. And you're my, you're, you're my community manager? What the fuck? No, okay. Uh, enough bullshit. Uh, what do we want to take? Polarizing hull plating is always good. Some tracking accuracy are uh, empire modifiers. So all of your ships will get those. We can go with this, but it's not that good. Hmm. Let's go with polarizing hull plates. And we'll... Go with con con uh, colony development speed, 100%, which is always good. I love these. Uh, especially because components are extremely, uh, extremely um, expensive at some point. Uh, I, do I want to go into the Mercury class destroyer? These can be quite powerful, actually. I kind of do want to do those. I'll take this one. Uh, 38 months until that is finished. Then we'll go over the ships. My construction ship is not going to do anything just yet. You are... Anomaly discovery chance plus 10%. I like that. Go over there. And when we have enough... For a leader. Do we have enough for a leader actually? Ooh, that is good. Additional 10%. Damn right. I'll take that. I'll definitely take that. Let's get that science ship going. I think we shouldn't be too far off. No, actually. Oh, we have a spark of genius. Damn, I like that. What do we have over here? Customized tricorder. Counselor. And expert in industry. Ooh. I'd say we'll go on engineering with the spark of genius. And the new scientist will get that one thing. Well, you are my moderator, aren't you, Wenek? And and you, we, we set up that uh, Discord all together, so we all are community managers. 
But you were mine first. That's basically how it goes. Okay, we have no alloys. Is there anything I want to change right now? Well, like I said, I'm most likely going to be removing the districts on this. And then adding a bunch of uh, admin officers just to prepare for the future. Also, fair warning, I have dogs. They make noises and I cannot silence them the way I silenced my chair. Trust me, I haven't tried. Okay, there we go. Negative 19 on the consumer goods. So this raises another option for us. And that is uh, building those consumer goods. Uh, these will only generate eight. And um, we can definitely go and try to get more consumer goods. But now we are a utopian abundance. We'll get a bit more on the resources because the people should be extremely happy. Initiating communications. Initiating communications with the Vulcans. I'm going to be letting the Vulcans do whatever. Uh, we'll be focusing on planets mainly. Glacial. And I want to snake my way over to that nebula if possible. That's uh, cell 5. Cell 50. By 50. It's something we have to address quite soon. How far over Empire Sprawl we are? These will give us two bureaucrats and they are filled, giving us 10 admin. We can potentially flip you into consumer goods. Let's take a look here. National Monument? No. Civilian industry would be very welcome. If we can make one of these, then it's all fine. We're lacking 107. We can manage to actually fix that. Initiating communications. So we have a cosmic string. Uh, the USS Hokula has particularly in intersected cosmic string located between the Sol and Alpha Sotera system, causing damage to several decks. While inconvenient, the data gathered during this uh, event, repairs should be uh, useful. Great. There is a research agreement with the uh, Vulcan, so that's good. Uh, now, I need to check if I can increase the, the chat size with Twitch. Initiating communications. Because it is relatively tiny. So, yeah. Can't change that just yet. There is a commercial pack invitation, of course, with the uh, Vulcans. And a migration treaty, of course, with them uh, Vulcans. Science ship is ready. Let us get this guy over there. And I'm going to be using you to go there. How do we get over here? Luckily, we can select it. Seems like there's two. Stop. Commence the initiative. There's no route. Okay, so he can't. It's fine. Uh, we had a bit of a thing going on here. Happiness is now going to drop because of the consumer goods. There we go. That should help. I thought we had something going on here. A disease. Survey, and then when you're there, we'll uh, we'll look into what else. We can also create a trade hub in here, but I don't think that will help us that much. Oh, there's one other thing I can do. Uh, let's go to Empire, or is it Policies? I don't have the economical reforms yet. That's a shame, because you can actually help yourself by changing the economical uh, balance. So you will get free Latinum. Great. But you can also gain uh, influence or unity and consumer goods from them. So as soon as we get the economical policies, we will definitely change that. And can I change anything else here? No, looks pretty much. The one thing that I would like to change eventually is the diplomatic stance. If that's possible, but we'll see. Uh, we'll get a few more. Just make sure that we got enough of that. This construction ship will eventually help us. It will take us 10 months. 
Can I change anything over here? I think I can. We have... I, I do believe we have enough resources right now. And this is going to be civilian industries. And we will build... We will lower these when we got different more planets. And we'll start building admin centers. And then we'll probably have to buy them again. Or... We can do it right now. Once we have the minerals for it. And we'll have some jobs in 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 rever uh, in in backlog look at this growth speed 1.54 and the there is 1.51 coming in from immigration isn't that just nice isn't that just nice immigration is just making sure that this planet will still sustain itself and there is Q. So let's take a look. Last time I just dismissed it. If you made it all the way to Prime Minister, I bet you used to getting your own way. You are used to getting your own way. That, well, that makes two of us. If you're looking for more tools to facilitate the, uh, the governance. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it basically he will tell you that there's this. Institution and agencies which is absolutely fantastic you can have uniform review options and eventually you will see minor changes coming all the way to of course the the best looking the best looking um uniforms ever i'm going to tell this eventually not to allow automatic up uh, updating uh quite frankly i I want to be aware of every change we can have in the uniform. There is the Starfleet Historical Society. It is all about if you are retiring ships, which you can do by yourself. Say you stock with a bunch of scouts. Just retire a few of them if you're not using them. But also you can just... I love that you're giving the option. You know, that, that, that all, that's all that matters. You having the option to do so. Because that's uh, one of those things that I absolutely hate it. Uh, we will try to keep an eye on this. And um, we'll get going on that. Stockpile in six months. Construction ships not doing anything. We have a non-aggression pack with the Klingons, which is good. Anomaly detected. Uh, research that. It's fine because we need to build up alloys and eventually consumer goods. This this will this will be absolutely fantastic when that happens. We're getting additional energy, which is always good. So the construction ship is just eating out of its nose right now. It's, it has nothing to do. Bloody shame that is. Do I have enough to create the officers here? So we are going to be getting 16 and we'll get two from not having the admin office. And we'll fill this with admin offices. That's what we'll do. Because we will need a lot if we are going to be forming the federation. Last time it jumped up to 250 while I was at 90. So that is an additional 60% to your uh, uh, technology. Okay, this coffee's cold. That's disgusting. Ah, oh. I'm just a hungry hippo for information. <laughs> I'm wondering how to get ranks or anything. Uh, it's chatting. It's it's it, it actually is chatting. So the, the uh, USS science ship, I would say that, is running scans on the Alpha Century Alpha Three. Well, how original. We're only partial accurate. The network of caves beneath the planet's surface extended nearly 10 times wider than first believed. Unfortunately, the junior officer once again failed. Has been reported missing. Oh no. We'll commence a rescue operation. Rescue the officer. Go to. And we'll have to make sure that we... Are you damaged? Okay, let's take a look here. You have to scroll in really deep. I. Uh, some people don't like the size of the ships i personally i love it it's the best thing ever uh control shift research will start that project first hopefully we will get our ensign back let us buy another 50 
once this is done, more manageable this will be. Um, and, and did our economy jump up? So, here we are again. <clears throat> I'll do my best to read as much as possible. Usually I skip through as much. Yeah, Wenak is uh, is the all-time number one of the uh, the Discord. He has been running extremely, extremely high in the level. Um, it's basically, most of the Discord is American. So when I'm asleep, he's gaining ranks. And when I'm awake, there's hardly anyone there. <laughs> so if you're European, join our Discord, please. Uh, I want to catch up on Wenak. So, yeah, we'll just see. Extended Cave Networks. The search party has found Honoka, Honoka uh, beneath the surface of Alpha Centauri and made a remarkable discovery. The caves themselves are somehow... Si uh, sentient. Ooh! Is what inside the stomach then? Uh, squishy quartz minerals found through the network seems to have natural formed, naturally formed a neural analog capable of a neural analog capable of limited telepathic communications with organic beings within. Wow. <laughs> Their presence will restrict mineral extraction operations, but should open up a wealth of research opportunities. Attempting to describe the, uh, their time in the network, the officer uh, summarizes it is as being uh, it's it's as being a dark place than knowing things. Wow. Wow, <laughs> for a remarkable discovery. Um, he, wow, he's been recommended for promotion as well. He went missing. He went missing and he's being promoted for being missing. And you're now an AI assistant because that makes a buttload of sense. Research speed, surveying speed, anomaly research speed. This guy is amazing. This is absolutely quite good. 10% chance in, in, in discovering anomalies. And now he's also is getting research speed as well as surveying speed and anomaly research speed. That's that's absolutely fantastic. I, I, I'm very happy that we actually took the time to go over that. Uh, this guy, the planetary building stuff takes forever. So if you get research to assist you with that, do it. We want to try to get our fleet up and running. I'd rather not have scouts in it. Uh, do we have anything better? Uh, I've also been told that the defensive platforms will most likely not help with the Cindy probe. So, we're waiting and hopefully we'll manage to get towards the, the Ganymede uh, ship class. Scout? Are you a scout? Let's take the other one. I'll take the scout later, uh, but not right now. I, I don't need a scout. Uh, let's get that up and running even more. Do not sell your your, your stuff, actually. Uh, you will need it. <coughs> like people who like tomato and those who don't. Yes, I don't understand the context of that, to be honest. Okay, let's wait a month and this should... Complete. There we go. We'll gain some more stuff. Consumer goods are now at negative two. But Empire's Pro did actually drop. So getting enough admin officers is going to be important. We'll take a year. It's fine. This, this doesn't hurt me as much as that was hurting me. Oh, the ship size. Well, I like the ship sizes. It makes no sense if you have a ship. That is as large as um, as a planet. Sorry. Survey that. Uh, we'll get closer towards the nebula. Uh, this will be... The Alpha Centauri is definitely going to be the very first sector that we take. And then we'll snake our way towards the nebula. If possible, then that would be great. Uh, we will... See, see this option? I love that option. Uh, let's go to our... Design Bureau, Review Options, um, let's take a look, 
I see no differences. Now, see absolutely no differences in this one. Um, it's just a waste of money then. But I, I like the, uh, the the smaller ship sizes, to be extremely honest. Uh, once that is done, you will go over... Yeah, research that, please. Go over here. Survey that system. Didn't we have five ships? We can also assign a leader. Who do we have? We have Jonathan Archer. Let's recruit you and put you in command. Uh, that raises the, um, the firepower. I'm so getting a call. That is so, and I'm so grateful for that mute button. I will take things a bit slower than usual, guys, because I do miss a buttload of things. I'm sorry for that. I know some of you hate it, but uh, I can't run on, th on the third speed ever. Okay, the silent, the silent enemy. So let me know what's the proper answer to actually get inside and outside of the ship, because I believe that we can. After a day in orbit of Alpha Centauri Alpha 2 Alpha, right, well, there's a lot of Alphas in that one, with no progress in locating the source of the unusual space pad, uh, the subspace reading, the captain prepares to give the order to move onto the, uh, the next surveying target. Moments later, the ship sensors detect a surge in subspace activity, followed by the appearance of an alien ship of the port bow. Hailing the vessels proved fruitless, and after several minutes of silence conf uh, confronting the ship, uh, the, of silence, confrontation, silent confrontation, Ooh. the ship warps away. What happened? Uh, did we follow them? Did we? <clears throat> or did we wait for the return? Did we leave or we don't want the confrontation? Hmm... Confrontation? Why would we follow the ship? We're new in space, right? We're not there yet. We'll, uh, we'll leave orbit and see what happens. I think that is... Defense-wise... Uh, okay. Okay, yeah, uh, well, we should have waited for them then. Okay, uh, so the science vessel leaves orbit several light minutes away from Alpha Centauri Alpha to two ships sec uh, sensors detect another surge in subspace activity. On the opposite side of the planet, arriving at the coordinates, the vessel is nowhere to be seen. However, the subspace disturbance has, all, uh, has at its heart an exotic particle. Oh yeah, I love that. And so does my dog. Rapidly decaying in uh, intensity. The captain commits the uh, the resources to study the particle uh, fountain before it collapses. So we gain some research. There were other options. Uh, maybe if you waited, the, uh, you will eventually get that confrontation. You might lose your ship and your captain. I don't know. It, everything is possible. It's a lot of RNG. I'm very grateful that this is not going down as hard anymore. This will go to negative four when Mars actually has that. We also will lose six minerals. So that's not the best, but there's not much to build anyway. So we'll just wait. Cambridge done. You will go there and then survey the nebula. Uh, while keeping a close hand on our pocket, our influence, and it is 12 months for the consumer goods. How expensive is this? 130 for 50. Yeah, we'll just wait. We'll just wait. We have unemployment. Um, considering we just gotten rid of some of our... Uh, of, uh, we, we just got rid of some of the uh, minerals. We'll probably go with a mining district. The colony development speed is done. 